dear students welcome to this class in this class we are going to discuss about the work done for the real gases or we can say van der Waals gases under isothermal conditions uh, this topic is also coming under first law of thermodynamics okay right now let us go into the topic right before going into this you should remember what is meant by an isothermal process uh, because already we discussed about various types of processes so you know what is meant by an isothermal process so isothermal process is a process in which there is no change in the temperature or we can say dt is equal to zero there is no change in the temperature whereas there there is a change in the heat there should be a change in the heat so dq q stands for heat and t stands for temperature but there is a change in the heat but there is no change in the temperature right here sometimes we use a symbol delta or we can use d if the difference is very large then we can use the symbol delta this one something like a triangle shaped symbol whereas if the difference is very small then we can say d so there is no big difference between d and delta right now uh, this is the isothermal process now similarly uh, you should know what is the work done formula already the first law derivation we have discussed about this also so work done is given by the formula w is equal to p into dv where p stands for the pressure and dv is the change in the volume here note down again the pressure is constant here so there is no change in the pressure so the value of p is constant so it is called isobaric process okay so we are going to study the work done both isothermal as well as isobaric conditions right right now let us go to the next one the van der Waals equation for real gas right so we discussed about the gas equation for ideal gas now this is the gas equation for the van der Waals gas equation for the real gas so you know the difference between ideal gas and the real gas actually ideal gas means the gas that there is no attraction or repulsion between the molecules whereas in the case of the real gas there will be significant attraction between gaseous molecules or repulsion between molecules okay right so uh, based on that van der Waals equation is written like this already you studied about this p plus a by v square into v minus b which is equal to rt where this p stands for pressure v stands for volume t stands for the temperature okay right r is the gas constant already discussed in the simple uh, ideal gas equation pv is equal to rt r is the gas constant the value is 8.314 joules per kelvin per mole right now two more terms are added here one is the a by v square and another one is the term b so these two terms a by v square and b are called correction factors right so here uh, the value of a is also a constant and b is also a constant which is known as van der Waals constant and these two values are fixed or fixed values or constant values for the given gas okay so now we are going to study the work done w based on this one pdv equation uh, for the real gas using van der Waals equation okay right now let us rearrange the van der Waals equation because we are going to derive the work done which is given as p into dv this is the formula so we are going to rearrange the van der Waals equation p plus a by v square into v minus b which is equal to rt remember this equation what we have given here 
is for 1 mole of gas. So, it is not for n mole of gas. This equation is written for 1 mole of the gas. So, if you are rearranging this equation, then we get, this is the, just rearranging the value of P in terms of P. This is also the Van der Waals gas equation. So, the value of P is written for the real gas in terms of pressure. Okay. So, right now, uh, since work is a path function, W always a path function. So, W which is equal to P into dV. So, we are going to integrate between two limits. We are using definite integrals. So, the limits are V1 from the lower limit V1 to V2. The final volume. This is the initial volume. This is the final volume. Okay. Right. Now, the pressure is constant dV. So, now we are substituting the value of P in this equation. Okay. So, now uh, this is the value. So, we are going to find the solution for this equation. Okay. And again, remember, this is this equation is written for 1 mole of gas. Okay. Right. Now, the above equation is written in two parts. So, this nothing but the first part is this one. So, we are having RT integration between the lower limits initial volume V1 to final volume V2. Uh, here we, are, we have taken R which is a constant. So, we have taken out and T is also a constant because the process is assumed as an isothermal process. So, the T is also taken out. Right. So, here this equation is written in two parts and now we are going to find the solution for this equation. Right. Now, let us see the solution for the two parts. Right. What is the solution for this part? Right. The solution for this part is RT, natural logarithm, ln V2 minus B divided by V1 minus B. So, here this is the solution for this one. RT ln V2 minus B divided by V1 minus B. Okay. Right. Now, let us go to the second part. This is the second part of the equation. Now, what is the solution for this equation? So, here you know there is a constant is there that is A which is nothing but a Van der Waals constant. So, now we are going to take this out during integration. So, again integrate between the limits lower volume V1 and the upper volume V2. Right. So, now for this 1 by V square can also be written as V to the power of minus 2. Okay. Now, we are going to find the solution for this equation. So, you know, x to the power n means n plus 1 divided by x to the power n plus, n plus 1 divided by n plus 1. So, here this is the solution b to the power of minus 2 plus 1 divided by minus 2 plus 1. So, we can say uh, this v to the power minus 1 can be written as 1 by v. And we are having a minus term in the denominator. So, we can put minus 1 by V. Okay. So, now uh, the solution for the second part is based on this equation. We can give this one. Okay. Minus 1 by V from the limit lower limit V1 to V2. So, what is the solution for this equation? Minus A. Uh, into 1 by V2 minus 1 by V1. So, remember there is a minus sign is present. So, we got the solution for the two parts also. Okay, now we have derived the W work done for the real gases under isothermal condition. So, this is the final equations we are having. This is the final equation. Right. Remember, we have derived this equation for one mole of the real gas. Okay. So, if two values, V1 and V2 volumes are given, 
for a particular temperature then we can calculate the value of w because a and b are the constant constant values so if we know the value of v1 v2 under the temperature we can calculate the value of work done for the real gas okay right now the this equation is written for the one mole of the gas now how to calculate for n moles of gas if the number of moles is not one it is more than one then what will be the van der waals equation i am saying van der waals equation not the solution remember there is a van der waals equation so what is the van der waals equation instead of p plus a by v square they have added n square remember it is not n it is n square into v minus n b again it is multiplied the second term is also multiplied by n number of moles which is equal to r okay so remember this is the van der waals equation for n moles of gas okay now what is the solution based on this equation can we return can we write can we write this uh, work done for the real gases for n moles of n number of uh, moles of gases okay so this is the final part now w is equal to n into rt ln v2 minus b divided by v1 minus b because you can see here in this term the v minus b term n is present whereas the p plus a by v square in this term we are having n square so a n square 1 by v square minus 1 by v1 so this is the equation that is the work done equation for n number of moles of real gases under isothermal conditions okay thank you